赖雷岛，它作为苏格兰面向大西洋海风的第一线，也造就它独特风味的岛屿威士忌。但是，其实赖雷岛它的地理位置呢，还提供另外一个庞大的资源，就是潮汐。苏格兰它拥有欧洲四分之一的潮汐资源，在赖雷岛北边有一个峡湾，这个地方的洋流的强度跟稳定度更是苏格兰之最。从明年开始，在这里将会建设全世界最大规模的潮汐发电系统。在完成之后，这整座小岛就可以能源。自给自足。我们来到苏格兰的艾雷岛，开了三十分钟的车子，一个人也没见着，只有看不完的荒木草原跟数不清的羊群在低头猛吃草。宁静、优美是我们对艾雷的第一个印象，但其实这座小岛正在上演能源革命。原始淳朴的艾雷岛，其实有着世上最先进的再生能源科技。我站在艾雷岛上，对面就是 Jura 岛，而中间这条峡湾因为水流很强劲，很适合发展潮汐发电。从明年开始，这里将会是一个能源自给自足的小岛。The Sound of Islay， 一条长八公里、宽一公里的峡湾，洋流时速每小时十一公里，又强又稳定。苏格兰电力公司从明年开始，将会陆续把十台一兆瓦的水下涡轮机安置到海底六十英尺。涡轮机的叶片在潮流中每分钟会旋转十次发电。基底三脚架的设计是为了在海底占有最小足迹，再由附加的安定器来稳固位置。Tidal energy is caused by the the movements of the gravitational field between the Earth and the Moon. And that moves the the tides around the globe. In, in this part of the world, they're, they're coming from the Atlantic, so they're moving from the Atlantic, and the tides will speed up when it gets shallower. So as it gets to Islay, it gets shallower, and as it gets into the Sound of Islay, it gets shallow and narrow, and that helps to speed the water up, and that's where you get the most intensity. 造价八千万英镑的潮汐发电系统在建成后，约可以提供十兆瓦电力，足以供岛上三千五百个居民，还有八座威士忌酒厂所有所需电力。People are very proud um, of uh, being a green island.、Um, I think being an island, we're very aware of. Energy and sustainability. You, all the electricity that comes in, you, this one cable that comes in, you know where it is. All the oil that comes in, it comes in by boat. So, so it's very,、uh, it's obvious to people on Isla what energy is about. I think if you live in a big city, you take it for granted. Whereas here, I think you, you, you,、uh, you can see it and you have a bit more understanding of, of how difficult it is to get energy. 苏格兰拥有全欧洲四成的潮汐资源。艾雷岛的案子若可以成功，将会是苏格兰迈向二零三零百分之百使用再生能源目标的一大步。相较风力或者是太阳能，潮汐发电因为跟月球运动的周期有关，更容易准确的预测。虽然它造价不菲，但艾雷岛的居民相信，现在不做，未来地球要付出更高的代价。